There are a number of things. Let me, let me start with the most important, which is prayer. My vision for this conference is that if nothing else, we emerge as a communion that is visibly more deeply committed to prayer and the reading of scripture. So pray and read scripture together. Get into the swing of it in a new and fresh way. For example, between Ascension and Pentecost, there will be the fourth uh, 10 days of thy kingdom come. Get involved in that. It's a time of prayer for mission, prayer for God to warm the hearts of those who need to hear the good news of Jesus. So in every way that fits in as preparation for the Lambeth Conference, as well as being fabulous in itself. And there will probably be a fifth one in 2020. So pray, get involved in thy kingdom come. Uh, Put some money aside. Now, there will be bursaries for those who need them. No one should not be able to come for financial reasons. I hope that people, even if they can pay very little, will put something aside to show that this is a personal commitment. Thirdly, pray for those you disagree with and resist the urge to be swayed by gossip and rumour. So when you hear something, don't necessarily believe it. Turn to God, say, if that's true, I pray for him or her. But also try and find out the truth. Three things.